This is RadiumFire.com. Your truly Dami K in here. Thank you for joining me. Today I want to talk about Donald Trump, Kanye West, and the Illuminati agenda. Now, Donald Trump, the president-elect, seems to, for all the talk that he did about bringing people together and, you know, all of that kind of stuff that he's been speaking as of late, his recent cabinet picks, his potential cabinet picks are really causing an uproar. Of course, we have all types of protests going on, and I don't think that these protests are going to stop anytime soon. Now, while they cannot change the result of the election, they do show that people are unhappy. And I think that if the protests continue, that the Trump cabinet, the Trump team will see that they have to address these people. And, you know, your supporters are happy. And if these people were not protesting, then a lot of people would think that they were okay with the Trump presidency. And as I said, the, the protesting cannot change that. The result of the election, Donald Trump is the president-elect. That's going to happen. But there are millions and millions of people that did not want to see him as president. Now, for all of the signs that say not my president and all that kind of stuff, he is your president. You cannot change that for at least four years. But some of these cabinet picks, like Bannon, a known racist, and Jeff Sessions, really, a, a definitely a racist from Alabama, these picks are very, very disturbing. He has met with Mitt Romney for a potential secretary of state, uh, position. Uh, I like Mitt Romney a lot better than Giuliani. Uh, by far, uh, I think that Mitt Romney would be a better selection. It's amazing how four years ago we were like, oh no, not Mitt Romney. And now the thought of Mitt Romney is actually refreshing compared to a Trump thing. But Trump is the president, and uh, I actually hope that Mitt Romney is. Uh, the pick if it's between Giuliani and Mitt Romney. Here's another problem with Donald Trump, though. It seems as though Saturday Night Live and, and uh, you know, that they had the musical that had some things to say. Trump is affected by popular culture. I mean, it, it affects him. If he sees it, it affects him, and he has to speak on it. The president of the United States, the president-elect, should not be tweeting about magazine articles, the New York Times, a post, Washington Post, uh, a play, a musical, or Saturday Night Live. There's so many other things that are more pressing that we would want you to focus on. Now, Saturday Night Live always does pop culture spoofs. And Donald Trump, you're the president, president-elect. They're going to spoof you. You can't try to censor them. They're not going to apologize to you. They're going to make fun of you because that's what they do. That's what Saturday Night Live does. I'm beginning to think that this whole Trump thing was just one of the Illuminati's agenda points. And hear me out. We thought that Donald Trump was not electable, right? And maybe that was part of the plan, then to get him elected and have him continue with the agenda of the Illuminati. Now, Donald Trump, for all of his draining the swamp talk, he's putting the same people that's already in the swamp in his cabinet, in his positions. And this whole thing is something for the Trump uh, corporation, the Trump businesses, the 500 businesses that Trump has, for them to make money, he's having dignitaries and people like that stay at the Trump hotel that's in D.C., and I'm sure that that's going to continue. We really have to be very careful about this. Now, the second point, Kanye West. When Kanye West was initially talking about a 2020 presidential bid, it was actually met with some optimism. People were actually giving it good vibes, especially in the hip-hop community. But after his recent after-election endorsement of Donald Trump, a lot of people are looking at him for exactly what he sounds like, and that is a Illuminati sellout. I say that because 
Kanye, you were on the right path, even with all the crazy talk, even with all of your rants and all of the emotional things that you do. You were on the right path. At least the hip hop community as a whole were considering supporting you in a presidential bid. If Donald Trump could get this far, then, you know, a, a crazy Kanye West uh, run doesn't sound that crazy, right? Now, you would think that because Kanye was getting this kind of grassroots support, just talk about support, about voting for him, it wasn't any real things that happened, that you would just ride that out and just, you know, just kind of ride that wave. But no, the Illuminati obviously saw an opportunity to maybe get the hip-hop community, you know, and, and break the whole thing up because Kanye West comes out after election and gives an endorsement for Donald Trump. First of all, Kanye, you didn't even vote. He says at the show, I didn't vote, but if I did, I would have voted for Donald Trump. What sense does that make, Kanye West? What sense does that make? You now would support the Republican Party? I remember a few short years ago, you said out of your mouth that George Bush does not care about black people. Do you think that Donald Trump cares about black people? I'll wait. I'll wait for the answer. Kanye West aligning himself with Trump only lessens his impact and hurts his brand. I mean, you didn't even vote, Kanye. You didn't even vote. And for you, you, know, you should have just kept your mouth shut. But Donald Trump says that he supports Kanye West. He loves Kanye West, and Kanye loves him. Uh, very, very interesting. I think that this is part of the Illuminati, and Kanye was actually going to be a viable force, but they just took him down and clipped his wings before they even started. A lot of people at concerts, they booed Kanye West, as they should. They booed him. His fans are turning on him. Kanye, I don't know what... You know, between Lil Wayne, between Kanye West, I don't know who is next. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at the Diamond K Show. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm crazy, but Kanye definitely sounds crazy. At the Diamond K Show, make sure you subscribe so you never miss an episode.